Taurus and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. Uh, this is going to be a reading for the uh, 13th through to the 20th. Uh, we have been doing regular updates on our Instagram, which will introduce you to the idea of how the sun and the eruptions on the sun affects your cards with, with um, cards that we pull on Instagram. So uh, if you want to know more about that, the links are in the description below. Please don't get. Please go down, and um, and uh, you can find the links to that and see what's happening there. So, uh, as I say, this is going to be a reading. It's going to be in two parts. This is going to be your first part that's out, and then during the week we'll be clarifying the cards with uh, accordance to what's going on with the sun. We have actually had like a um, a, a filament energy that's come through and hit Venus. Um, and as it's hit Venus uh, on the 10th, uh, the 10th and the 11th uh, of this week just gone past, uh, it will be affecting uh, the energies on the Earth, that means waters, uh, on the, uh, from the 12th and the 13th. So right at the beginning of this week. So, um, you know, keep an eye out for those updates as it comes out later on in the week. Uh, we will be... Um, going into all of that. If not, if you want more information on what the happening with the vibration of the earth and the chakra system and our chakra system and our aura system, you'll find that on uh, Cymatic TV, which is also linked down below. So let's just see what's going on uh, for you, Taurus. Now, this is it's quite an amazing reading considering the time of your year. So we are still in Pisces season. You're in uh, equivalent of the second month before your birthday. It might be coming to the end of that second month. It might be right at the beginning of that second month. It will depend on your birthday and depends on your rhythms as well of your life, your human rhythms, which you can find in our book on the Astro Flower. But also it's that part where uh, you should be calculating what's happening physically, what's been going on over the past year, what's going to be happening in the new year after your birthday and how to best put it all into place. So the material side is going to be a little bit more important than the spiritual side at the moment. And this is probably why we've got the Six of Swords on the uh, spiritual side. Um, and then as we come into the last month before your birthday, that's when we're going to be on the spiritual side, where it's going to be asking a lot of questions of how you've been doing it over the last year, how your relationship's been, and how they're going to be in the future. So... Looking at that in mind, it's equivalent of your autumn. Things should be slowing down, but it doesn't seem to be, does it, Taurus? <laughs> it seems to be so jam-packed. Uh, there's a lot going on at the moment for you, certainly on the physical front. Um, let's start with that side. So... Um, if you know anything about the Astro Flower, if you want to know, there's links down below to go in where you can learn about the different petals and what they correspond to. So this is the petal that is connected with how the universe is trying to influence your karmic path. And you've got the Page of Swords. So on the Page of Swords, she's crossing over a ravine on a very thin, um, thin cord. And she's got all these ideas that are coming to the surface. And... That's what the universe is trying to encourage you to do. It's trying to encourage you to sort of see those ideas on the material front, on the physical front, to actually play with them a bit. Um, and in order to play with them a bit, you're going to have to start working with other people, which is a very good thing. Taurus, you do enjoy that. Um, as long as, uh, you know, everyone's on the same, same page and everyone's going down the same way. So you're... Um, your karmic path at the moment, certainly for this coming week, uh, will be a case of how you place yourself in the material world with the world around you, with the people around you, um, how you work with um, companies, how you work with, um, you know, uh, affiliates or, or uh, people within your business uh, or, you know, within your job, within the same service as your job how you integrate integrate yourself with other people. And, you know, your your guides here, they've got the chariots coming in here, and it's, so it's, it, 
it may give you that sensation that there's a lot of things going on around you in the physical world, in the material world that needs to be addressed. And as it does, as it does get addressed, you can you can put things to one side. And this is a bit like the patience of what we were talking about in the um, in the readings that we did on Instagram. If you haven't seen them, please go and follow the links down below and you'll soon find out. But it's it seems like a case of kind of saying, OK, that's coming in great. Um, I'll take that bit of information, but I'll put it on the shelf for a little bit for later on. And you can bring it back into your life. So it's a case of what's coming in fast doesn't need to be all directly done right this second. And that's quite important for you at the moment, because otherwise you may feel that uh, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed or uh, a little bit uh, that the outside world is not living up to the expectations and stuff like that. And there is a bit of patience that needs to be put into place. That's where your guides are trying to just create the coincidences and help stimulate those ideas from the page of page of um, sword, sorry, where, you know, she's learning. She's learning lots of things about herself. She's learning how to keep herself in balance. And this is really for you at the moment uh, for this week. It's how you keep your material world in balance with you in working with other people. And it may be a case of, your guides may be turning around to you, and this is where your guides get into your conversation. They may be turning around to you and sort of saying, do you remember how we used to do this? Do you remember how we, when we used to do that? Um, and so it may have sort of, it may, this is this whole idea of work, looking over the last year, could even be looking over the last five years, how you've done things within the world and what things are good, how you've grown. And don't forget, Sometimes you've got to realise you've done loads of stuff that you don't realise. it. But if you take that time out and have a look at how life has been led for you over that past year, at least, you may realise that you've actually come a long way, uh, a lot further on down the path. If you do that, it will help you to decide and work out what you want to be doing next year, because... In petal 10, where you're connected with the, uh, how you connect with the world around you, you've got that three of wands. And I think it's almost you're going around and acting as if sort of kind of going, I'm starting on my journey, I'm starting on my journey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. If you try and go too far, so you may find you're tripping up over things that you haven't seen because you're going too fast. So if I was you... I would be very conscious about what is around you in the physical and material world. Um, allow, be open to everything that comes into you. And it may be coming in thick and, thick and fast. But it's more a case of, you know, um, choosing things that are more immediate and leaving things on a shelf that you can come back to later on uh, as you develop after your birthday as you develop your material path after your birthday and just try not to try, do everything at once so patience 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 what is inside you and this is the beauty of it all is that hangman now that hangman is uh, a case of looking at things differently seeing the world in a different way now the hangman is usually being hanged from the tree of knowledge so this different point of view is created when you look at what you've done uh that you know what you've done and then you can say well if i'd done it like this what would have been so it's a case of looking at things differently according to your own knowledge of how your path has already been led and if you do that you'll have it be a lot easier for you this year and you'll be able to progress a lot better this year um for you it looks really good actually Looks like you're doing the work, or at least the universe is encouraging you to do that inner work in order for the world to be a much better place, not only for you, but for everyone around you. OK, so the physical side of things is very much down to assessment and putting things into place. Preparation, foundation will save you lots of time in the future. OK, so let's see what's going on on the materials, on the spiritual side, sorry. 
So we have the your card. This is you, Taurus, the King of Pentacles. It's very similar to that idea of what I was talking about, the hangman and everything like that. And it's learning with the page of swords as well. It's learning about the things that you've done with the, the six of cups, old ideas coming back in or even old people coming back into your life that you used to know. Uh, and the King of Cups has got all those books behind him and he's very secure in his seat. He knows who he is and what he's done. But it's also part of, you know, it's got the wolf that is a protection in that respect. So he's battled to have to get to where he is. But at the same time, the wolf symbolizes a little bit of the whole idea of a family, of a clan, which you get with the three of pentacles on your karmic path, on your material side. And it's sort of the universe is sort of saying to you there, know your knowledge, know who you are so you can actually go on. The queen of wands. So you've got two queens on this side and a king, which is a really good thing. The queen of wands is, she's a very beautiful, lively, happy go, happy go lucky sort of person. And you should be doing this and just living each moment as it arrives in the emotional front and living it fully. She's holding up one candle and she's got loads of these candles around her, loads of these different passions. But she's really passionate about this one candle that she's got in her hand. And this is the whole idea of living the moment, uh, taking time out so you can live that moment. Enjoy that moment with other people. Don't get too emotionally attached to things. And your guides are trying to help you here. They've got the six of one, six of swords. So it's the rite of passage going across the sea and that can be quite choppy emotionally. But those guides depicted as birds on these cards here are actually trying to bring you across and take you from one side to the other so you don't have to worry about it too much you know you can you can trust in your guides so it's a case of following those coincidences that are around you and to lead you on uh, down your emotional path and your relationships not only on a singular one-to-one -one relationship but also on your community on your friends on your family and see how it sits best with you and if you don't get too in, you know don't get too wrapped up in it and and be a little bit more detached and just enjoying the moment um your guides are going to help you come through on that on the other on the petal eight which is where the guides are trying to influence your conversation within you you've got the queen of cups now the queen of cups is She's almost like a master of her emotion. It's just like pure love. It is that instant moment. She's got that cup sitting in front of her and she's radiating or resonating that energy through her hands. It's as almost as if she's praying, but she's enjoying that moment, enjoying that uh, moment emotionally around you. So you enjoy um, that that meal that you can eat with your friends or just enjoying watching um, um, a sporting event or a play or something like that. Enjoying just being in the moment and letting the world actually work for you for a change rather than you having to do all the work yourself. So on the emotional front, it's almost sort of like a, a respite and that's, it's going to be, it's going to feel a little bit stop start. This is where the rite of passage comes in because we've had that solar flare or that filament energy that's been erupted um, on the 8th and it will be coming through and hitting Venus on the 10th and it will be affecting you from the 12th. So the 12th and the 13th and 14th, you may feel like the emotions are a little bit intermittent, um, which uh, you do have on you. You know, you do have... Um, you know, cardinal uh, energy, a uh, cardinal uh, um, uh, water coming through from cancer. So allow that water to sort of um, come into your life or come through your life uh, and, and let it sort of give you direction. So and enjoying the moment. That is the most important thing for you at the moment, um, um, Taurus. Uh, enjoying the moment. And it looks like also on the physical side, although there is a lot more stuff to be dealt with on the material side of life. Okay. 
We will be doing a clarification on these readings, so you will need to subscribe and click that bell so you will get all the information as it comes through uh, hot off the press, as it were. Um, yeah, so don't forget to tour us. Life should be fun, so please do enjoy. <laughs> 